Dear friends, welcome to my video on how to win without fighting. Kindly click on the CC button for subtitles. 1. Strategy over strength. A muscle-bound army is all well and good, but it's useless without a good brain behind it. Smart planning is the cornerstone of success. Gather as much information about your adversary as possible. The more you know about their strengths, weaknesses, plans, and motivations, the better you can predict and counteract their moves without direct confrontation. Remember, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. 2. Deception is key. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. Sounds cryptic, doesn't it? But it's just good old-fashioned bluffing. If you can make your opponent think you're on the back foot when you're actually poised to strike, or vice versa, you've got the upper hand. In today's terms, it might be about projecting confidence in a negotiation even if you're feeling unsure or appearing indifferent about a deal you desperately want. Mind games, my friend. 3. Flexibility. Water is my favorite metaphor. Why? It adapts. It can be gentle as a drizzle or powerful as a tsunami, depending on the situation. The ability to adapt to new circumstances or unexpected challenges will always be more valuable than brute strength or rigid plans. In modern lingo, pivot when necessary. 4. Win hearts and minds. The strength of an army, or a company, or any group, really, is not just in numbers, but in its unity and morale. If the troops aren't motivated, even the best strategies will fall flat. Same goes for any team in today's world. Focus on keeping morale high. Sometimes, this might mean listening to concerns, rewarding loyalty, or just throwing an epic pizza party. 5. Choose your battles. Hey, not every hill is worth dying on. Sometimes, the wise move is to avoid conflict altogether, especially if the odds are heavily stacked against you or if the stakes are too low. Ask yourself, is this fight essential? What do I stand to gain or lose? If it's not a resounding, yes, this is vital, then maybe reconsider. 6. The element of surprise. When everyone zigs, you zag. Catching your opponent off guard can lead to easy victories. While in my day, this meant ambushes in the dead of night, in modern times it might translate to unveiling an unexpected marketing strategy or launching a surprise product. Be unpredictable. 7. Use your resources wisely. Don't drain your resources, be it troops, money, or energy, on battles that don't directly contribute to your ultimate goal. Allocate them where they can make the most significant difference. No one wins by going bankrupt, literally or figuratively. 8. Win without fighting. My favorite, obviously. To fight and conquer in all our battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Direct confrontation can be costly, risky, and unpredictable. If you can achieve your objectives without a fight, by diplomacy, negotiation, or any other peaceful means, that's the real masterstroke. In conclusion, peeps, while the art of war might sound like it's all about epic battles and heroic charges, its core message is quite the opposite. It's about using intelligence, strategy, and subtlety to achieve your objectives with the least amount of conflict possible. The next time you face an obstacle or an adversary, remember these lessons. Can you outsmart them, outmaneuver them, or just outright avoid the conflict? If you can, not only will you be following my ancient wisdom, but you'll also be on your way to a more peaceful, successful life. Stay wise, and may your battles be few and your victories plenty. Peace out. Thank you for watching my video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and give a thumbs up. Thanks for your support.